Hello and welcome to another video. So this time is gonna be different. This is uh, the first time I'm going to attempt to fix something. So what happened is I have this internet radio, which is a Logitech squeeze box, as you can see, Logitech here, and it doesn't work. I'll show you what happened when I connect the power so this is the power nothing I can turn off the light as well like that as you can see it lights up and for a few seconds and turns on keep flashing and there is nothing on the display this is how the display should look like I have the picture here so as you can see it's my very nice display it's called vacuum fluorescent and you can see a clock here and actually it gives lots of information but right now it doesn't do anything at all except flashing so I checked online and I found the similar problem with somebody else and it seems like it's due to a certain part inside which is a Wi-Fi card I know it's kind of challenging uh, doing this, but let's give it a try. I'm not expert on doing this, but anyways, it doesn't work and nobody can fix it. So why not me? What I'm going to do right now, I don't have the part. I don't even know how it looks like, but there is something I can check to be sure this is the fault so that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'm gonna take it apart and see what I can do so let's remove the car for now it's actually a very good device I really love it I have this handy dandy screwdriver that's actually part of my tools but the thing is I didn't find any place for any screws like if you look around on the back where usually the screws is nothing it's all one part no screws anything this is the top and this is the front so I believe it should be underneath these covers, speaker covers. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get my uh, dentist tools. I'm gonna show you right now and try to uh, get them off. All right, so here it is, dentist tools. I think I bought it from either eBay or Amazon, I don't remember but it's very handy and let's see what we can do here let's get it a little closer I'm gonna actually try from the bottom oh here we go actually it wasn't hard at all yeah here it is so one is done and let's go to the second one same thing there it is lovely so thank you dentist tools 
All right, so nice. Next step, you can actually see screws here, here and there, like on here, one there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to remove these screws. Time for screwdriver, and these screws are star screws. So I believe it's this one here. Like uh, get it out. Let's just exactly. This is the right one. All right. So All right, so now, oh, that's so easy out. And it seems there is a connection cable here. Okay. So let's try to get this out. There it is. Yeah, I think this is just the controller. So let's keep this away from now. For now. And now. So I know this is um, vacuum fluorescent or VFD vacuum fluorescent display and now actually there are more screws uh oh makes it easy I always feel so happy when I see actually uh, electronics and parts and all these kind of things. Close up here. Anyways, let's see what we can do now. Can we... Is this part uh, removable? as well Let's see yeah it is oh that's so easy so let's take this apart there is something actually not working let's take a peek from Oh, let's see from the back. It should be. Uh, it was just stuck on the back. And now. Oh, still. Still something is missing. Oh, I see. It's the speaker. The speaker system. Oh, I believe this is the card. But anyways, let's first try to uh, take this apart. I don't want to damage anything. So... I'm not gonna take it apart for now. I'm just going to check on this card here. What I'm gonna do is I am going to disconnect it. 
This is one and two. Okay. And that's the uh, yeah, I believe this part is holding this section here. Yeah, I believe I need to uh the sticker from the back. Here it is. So now it should be free, I believe. I hope so. Let's take this apart. And here we go. There it is. Here it is. Here is the part. So, there is a test we need to do right now. This part actually is the first checkpoint. The system, when you turn on the power, the system needs to uh, go through this card first and then proceed. And that's why the screen doesn't turn on. Um, that's actually from the internet search I made. So if we put this back as it was and connect this part, there it is, and get the cover. or the controller or whatever and I'm going to connect back this flexible connector here yeah so Right now, if we turn it on the screen, it should work. Let me see, even without the card. There you go. How about that? So, as you can see, it says wireless card not installed. Obtaining an IP address but it, it can't of course but look at that look at that man so now we are sure the problem is in here this part needs to be replaced so next step I'm gonna check online to see which card I should replace and hopefully I get the correct one otherwise it won't be recognized so let's disconnect this for now and this too there we go And actually this one as well. So what actually... So what I found out is... As you can see here, any card was... AR5BMB5 number or code or whatever it should be working so I'm gonna check on uh, on eBay and see if I can find something and I'm gonna update you with what I find all right so it seems um, it is available but 
only as used like as you can see I checked so many but it seems like only used cards and this is a Theros AR 5B MB5 wireless LAN mini PCI laptop Wi-Fi card and it looks actually so similar to the card here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy it it's not expensive it's actually eight dollars and free shipping so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy it maybe ask for fast shipping and I'm gonna pause the recording until I receive it and uh, see what we can do next it's about 10 days now past I actually uh, have everything where it was on the table here and voila there it is the new card well not, not new actually but the other card similar card and this is uh, one I received this is uh, one was inside doesn't look like the best shape but anyways let's uh, install it and see what is gonna happen i feel so excited so let's go back here and place the card back Actually, perfect fit, and this one is here. It's an antenna or the main power, I believe. Yeah, these parts are gonna be. Here. Very tricky. This one too. There we go. This one is done. Yeah, I had to borrow a tweezer. Make it easy. There we go. All right, so man, it wasn't easy. It was really tricky. Anyways, finally, I got this installed. As you can see, power, antenna, everything. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put this back like this. and I'm gonna connect this back and that is done and this other guy here which is there it is. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Anyways. So let's quickly get the power. And check it out. Oh wow, look at that. Man, look at that. Look at that. It worked. It worked. And now it's out of power, I guess. 
Yeah. All right. Setting favorites radio. Let's try staff pick. Mm, whatever, anything. Oh no, I don't want to save it. Let's go back. All right, let's go back. Andy's, no oh, Andy's, Pence, back. Radio Paradise, okay. Hey, all right. So actually, I don't want to get um, like copyright claim or anything because they just gonna catch it. So um, I just muted, but look at that. It's it's cool. It's nice. It's working. It's working. Anyways, I actually wasn't really sure <laughs> that it's gonna work, but it did. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put everything together like all the screws and everything and give it a final test All right, so it's almost done. And we have the covers. I believe this one is here and this one should be there. Here is one and two. Excellent. And still working. And where is the knob? It's right here. It should be like that. Excellent. So we're gonna go back and go back and let's give it a try so go to radio local let's go to local fm uh, let's go to some talk let's go to this one uh, yeah 105.7 FM Corner Road, 99.9 FM Porto Bass, 101.9 FM That's Happy amazing. Valley Goose Bay, 102.5 FM Wabush Labrador City, Channel 950 on Bell Satellite TV, yeah, and around the world Anyways, the internet, it is working. It's working. So anyways guys. Here's the latest forecast for Newfoundland and Labrador from Environment Canada. 
Yeah, I'm not in Newfoundland. For St. John's, Mount Pearl, and the metro region, rain with fog patches, winds from the southeast will gust to 40, highs 12. Tonight, rain changing to drizzle overnight Lovely. with fog patches, low steady near 12. Marystown in the Buren Peninsula, rain with fog patches, winds from Let's the east will off. gust to 6. Nice, nice. Turn it back on. Highs at 12. Overnight yeah. lows hold and steady at 12 lovely. throughout the night. Tonight rain will change to drizzle with fog patches After, developing. Uh, Gander, Grand Falls, Windsor, Rockwood, go Lewisport, uh, and Springdale. Cloudy spectrum. with rain, fog I'll patches with Let's winds from the northeast at 40. Highs 13. Tonight rain with fog patches overnight. Lows 9. Cornerbrook and Deer Lake mainly cloudy. 60% chance of showers late this afternoon. Winds from the east will gust to 40. Highs at 17. Rain tonight. Lows 10. For Channel Port of Basque, rain with fog patches. Winds from the east will gust to 80 in the Rec House area. And shift to north easterlies this afternoon. Highs at 13. Tonight, rain with fog patches dissipating in the evening. Temperature steady near 12 overnight. Happy Valley Goose Bay, a mix of sun and cloud, 40% chance of showers. Winds from the northeast right. will gust to 40, high 16. So, Early cloudy um, tonight, low 7. For this video was recorded on July 1st, which is Canada Day. So, happy Canada Day, everybody, if you are in, uh, in Canada. And um, I believe this is the end of this video. So... Uh, I'm so happy again that we found out the reason for the fault in the radio and actually I make this video to uh, to let you know try to do it yourself if you can do it do it if you can do it at least draw uh, try maybe it's gonna work what I did is like the basics if if i try to do it by myself without any previous information most likely i wouldn't know but i went online and i checked on similar faults on on this uh, on this device with other people and what did they do and step by step i started to understand maybe that is the same uh, fault as theirs and actually it was uh, maybe I was lucky I don't know but for sure I'm still going to make um, if it happened to any other device in my house here uh, why not try to fix it this device is actually discontinued it's not available anymore if you have it then you're lucky because it's amazing, excellent uh, internet radio um, that maybe you can find it on eBay as used. If you find it, buy it. It's worth it for sure. Otherwise, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for my next videos. And see you next time. Have a wonderful Canada Day.